Bats can actually grow on a woman's shoulders and emerge from her body. Even flowers can instantaneously sprout teeth. This is the school for good and evil, a magic school which exists in another dimensional space. The two men engage in a fight at the slightest disagreement. Surprisingly, they look the same. Soon, the man in blue is defeated by the man in red. The man in blue is pinned to the wall upside down. It turns out that they are the creators of the school for good and evil, carrying the responsibility of maintaining the balance of good and evil. But evil is no longer satisfied with the pressed. Evil persists in practicing blood magic. He wants to create a world full of evil. Evil launches an unprecedented attack on good. And good, whose power is used up, is knocked down, because slowly, the two of them fight near the edge of a cliff. Unbeknownst to them, both of them fall off during the fight. At a critical moment, good grabs onto a rock and climbs back up. But the fate of evil, who fell to the bottom of the cliff, is unknown. There are two peculiar girls in Gabaldon. Their destinies will also be changed by the school for good and evil.